Hello everybody and welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'll be showing you how to make the flower motors from week 8 of the Schepjes Crochet Along 2015. Of course we're still using linen soft yarn which goes along with the crochet along and a 4mm crochet hook. The flowers from week 8 are exactly the same as those from week 7. The only difference is the color combinations you're using. The pattern also says exactly which colors to use from your kit. I'll be taking you step by th step through these flowers and I'll actually be using the footage from week 7 to show you how to make these flowers. I hope this is a useful video for you and thank you for watching. Round 1, we start a magic ring. I'm sure by this time you know exactly how to make one. We're going to be making double trebles to together in this round. So the first one, chain three. One, two, three. Count us that first leg. Two times over, make a double treble. One, two, three. So that's your first double treble two together. Chain three, two, three. Now we can make the first complete double treble together in the ring. So twice over in the magic ring, pick up that loop, then take off once, twice, and stop. Two times over again, pick up another loop, and again, one, two times off. Now you have three loops on your hook, take them all off in one go. Chain three, one, two, three. That's your repeat unit, this double two togethers, and the chain threes. So the double trebles, so again, twice over, one, two, and again, twice over, and take off, one, two, three loops on your hook, take them all off, chain three, one, two, three. You're going to continue like this until you have 12 of these groups of double trebles, two togethers, and chain threes in between. So now I have three, so I have a few more to do. So you want 12 in total. So I'm almost on the end. Chain three. Still need to make number 12 on the double trebles together. So that's one more. Take them all off. Chain three. One, two, three. And now I want to close here at the beginning. But first close the magic ring by pulling on your end. You can see you won't get that completely closed. And then you're going to join this chain three to that first double treble here, so this first double treble two together. First the chain three and you have that stitch there. Join with a slip stitch in that first double treble. Cut off, pull through and then we're ready for round two. Round two, this round we're going to make green petals around the flower center. You can, you can start in any chain three space. I'm going to start in this space just before this slip stitch so that I can take this yarn with me and work it in. I'm going to start by joining your yarn to your work with a slip stitch. So pick up 
and hold it tight so that you don't accidentally lose your yarn. Chain three, one, two, three, which counts as your first treble. Then in the same space, make a treble crochet. Now we're going to go to the next space with chain threes in between and make two trebles here as well. So chain three, one, two, three. And when I'm going to work in this space, I'm going to take the yarn with the green yarn where I, from my beginning and this purple yarn, which is the end of round one. I'm going to take them both with me and work over them and this way securing them to my work. So you have them there, so yarn over and treble in that chain 3 space and a second treble as well. And that's your repeat, the chain 3 and the 2 trebles. So chain 3, and then go to the next chain 3 space and work two trebles in there as well. So one and two. Again, chain three, two, three. You're going to go like this all the way around, which means you're going to have 12 of these um, double legs of two trebles in one chain 3 space. So we're on to the last chain 3 space. Make two trebles in here. And then chain 3. One, two, three. And we're going to close a slip stitch to that first chain three, which was our first treble. Now you can cut off and work away your ends. There you go. Firstly, I'm going to leave the beginning from the magic ring so that I know what is the front and the back easily. And of course, these threads I can now cut off. So work away this last end, and then you've completed your flower. One thing to note: make sure that your size is still correct, and that they're all st that you still have the nine and a half centimeters, and that they're all the same size from your previous weeks. Block your flower; you'll see a clear difference between blocked and unblocked. So definitely do that. Um, and then you're done for this week. Make eight flower motifs in total in two different color combinations. And uh, then I hope to see you again next week.